Well, uh, it was about a week, about a week ago, I was on uh, Jerry's uh, live stream, and I was lucky enough to win a roll of copper silk filament. And this is from Airy One. And I must say, when I take a look at the spool, I've already packed it out because I wanted to take a look at it. And uh, I must say, let me see if I can show you exactly. Look how nice that one is rolled up. I mean, that is really nice. This is a one kilo spool, and uh, well, let's print a couple of figures and see how that silk filament comes out. Intermission time. Oh my! Well, <laughs> as I was trying to get everything ever set up to print, eh, the doorbell rings, and what comes? A uh, roll of filament that I ordered through uh, Amazon from Sunlu, and this um, could be interesting. This is a rainbow filament, but uh, you take a look there. You can see how often the color changes. So. That could be an interesting roll of filament. I'm not sure, maybe on the back side you can see it better. Yeah, there you go. It's got a lot of colors in it. Oh yeah. You know the best thing? I'm gonna have to take a break from printing. Well, for some reason, when I take and try to uh, put the SD card slot in, in the SD card slot, well, let me just say, I can push it in, it does, it does a click, and it pops back out. That means something is wrong with the lock me mechanism for holding the SD card in. So I thought, well, what the heck, connected via USB and print from the laptop. Now, yeah, what happened? Uh, cannot connect to COM3. Now, the USB cable connected to the laptop and started. S3D, and then I went into uh, uh, what is it? Tools, machine control panel, uh, attempt, attempting connection at do, 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 column three, error opening selected port, error opening selected port. And that was with. Uh, 115,200 bytes. I tried it with 57,500. That didn't work. Nothing worked. So I don't know what's wrong here. But it looks like I'm going to have to take a break from printing. Which is not really a good idea. I sent 
uh, Sherry at one home, an email telling her to tell Mr. Gary Chen, manager there, that uh, the guy that sent me this printer, that I have a problem with it now. So I'm going to have to wait for an answer there, see what they're going to say. But, um, yeah. Anyway, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting week. Because I also have things to print for a good friend. I don't know. Maybe I'll try and. Because what I found out is if I push the SD card in, hold it, I can go on the display and I can change the settings and everything, you know? Without a, without an SD card in the slot, you cannot do anything on the display. So that I have to have an SD card locked in. And now, I can't lock in. So I'm going to have to I don't know. I'm gonna have to try something so that so I can at least temporarily print or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, <laughs> until the next time. Hopefully, then I'll be able to present some figures and stuff like that. Everybody, y'all take care.